Hi everyone, this is Costa from Solitech Solutions and I'm just going to take you through some of the basic functionality for interference detection. So we've got this box trolley here and I just want to go through s the structure of the assembly. So we have a sub-assembly here which is composed of a frame and a panel. If we just have a look inside this part for the frame, we can see that this is a multi-body part consisting of many cut list items. And we also have some wheels and some pins through those wheels. So we'll just go to interference detection. Now we can select specific components to detect interference between them or we can just select the entire assembly. So that's what we'll do for now. Now since we do have fasteners within this assembly, we can create a fasteners folder. Now if I press calculate, we get interferences just for the fasteners. And I'll explain why in a couple of seconds. So under this fasteners folder, we have instances of interference and we're also given the volume of interference. So if we just click on one of these instances, on the graphic screen it gets highlighted and it clearly shows you what areas are interfering. Now if we expand this interference instance, we also get the components that are interfering. We can alter this view to show the components. So for certain components, we see specific instances of interference with that component. There are other options too. So we can see coincident faces, treat them as interference. Now if we calculate, we can see interference between the wheels and the frame. And these are just coincident faces. We can ignore certain instances of in interference. So if I sh shift select these, and ignore, they're eliminated from the list. But I can also show ignored interferences and they come back except they're grayed out. I can shift select again and un unignore. Now if you remember that frame was one multi-body part. So we can include multi-body part interferences within our interference detection and we'll see some multi-body part interferences here. Now at the moment we have our interfering parts shown as transparent but we can also display our non-interfering components in a different way too. At the moment it's on shaded with edges but we can display our non-interfering components as transparent, hidden or in wireframe. And that just about covers all there is to interference detection, so thank you for listening.